Mississippi Valley State produced the greatest wide receiver in the history of this sport. But historically, they're one of the worst football programs in the country. Now, Mississippi Valley State started off slow. Then they had a two-game winning streak. And then they just lost to UTEP. So now they're looking to bounce back in this fake rivalry game against the number 15 team in the country. There's a lot of great college football going on this week. But in Montgomery, Alabama, the 15th ranked Alabama State Hornets have to take care of business. Now, we're, we're number 15 now, but we can improve on that. We could blow out Mississippi Valley State and we could move up on the polls. Or we could just fumble the bag and lose. Who knows? We're about to find out, though. It's a sellout crowd here at ASU Stadium, a.k.a. Crampton Bowl, because at this time, the Hornets were playing in Crampton Bowl. They didn't even have a stadium on campus during this time. But here come the teams coming out to the field, and there goes Kevin Scott. He's been magic for us this season. However, he didn't do a single thing against Bethune-Cookman last week. And now he's looking to bounce back and be the receiver we all know he is. Because NFL scouts are looking. And he wants to improve on his draft stock. But we're going to start off the game giving the ball to the LSU transfer. And the man having a breakout season so far. Gene Speedy Singleton. But don't worry, we haven't forgotten about Justin Chambers. As the game starts off, we're on offense. Jason White makes that catch, surprisingly. And then we get the ball to the man all the way from VA, and he gets the first down. At the 49, there goes Paul Burnett, looking for Tim Brown, and he makes the catch. And then gets blasted. So on first and 10 at the 33, there goes Paul Burnett. He got blasted. So on the screen pass, we're going to look for Kevin Scott. He didn't get nowhere. Third down, Paul Burnett stepping back, looking for Marcus Williams. He makes the catch up the middle. Great catch there by Marcus Williams. We're going back to Gene Speedy Singleton. He lucky he got back to the line of scrimmage on that play. So now we got third and seven. There goes Justin Chambers up the gut, tackled at the one-yard line. We're cruising downfield on the first drive of the day as Chambers ends the drive. Touchdown, Alabama. Chambers, despite the fact that he's been on a three-game suspension, has been amazing. And look at that. Look at William Dorsey, the true freshman middle linebacker from Greensville, Mississippi. Gets another interception on the season. We got Darius Snyder starting at middle linebacker right now. But once he's gone, William Dorsey's going to be a problem. There goes Peter Burnett. Finding Marcus Williams up the middle again. He's tackled inside the five. We're back in the red zone. There goes a high snap. Burnett rolls out to the left. He tries to fire in the traffic, but it's incomplete. That should have been picked. So second and goal, we're going back to Gene Speedy Singleton. And this time, he cruises into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. So Valley got the ball back. They put the tight end at fullback Williams, and he gets a big game there. They're going back to him again, right up the gut. And then that goes Kyle Gray stripping him from behind. And Josh Smith recovers the fumble. The former one-star recruit falls on the ball as it drops on the turf. Great play there by the Alabama State defense. We haven't forgotten about our man out of Decatur, Alabama. He's still making plays. He just hasn't been playing offense as much. But he's still doing his thing at the free safety position. As the first quarter comes to an end, it's 14-0. Second quarter, we're looking to keep cruising. And this time, Justin Chambers gets popped. But Jesse Smith recovers the ball. So again, here goes third and 14. We're going with the half at the red. Then Chambers gets blasted. But it's manageable. So on fourth and two, we go back to him. And he has to fight his way past the first down marker. We're still cruising. At the 33, there goes Peter Burnett. Pops it. It's caught by Tim Brown on the right side. He makes the catch. It's second and one, though. Peter Burnett stepping back again. Can he complete the pass? He's caught by Kevin Scott. What a throw and what a catch. And a touchdown. Alabama State. 21 to nothing. Pass the sticks. Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. Let's meet the impact players, though. Those two wide receivers are back. Brown and Wilkinson. And then they have Jeff McIntosh. He's back for another season. 6'2", 228, junior, a balanced linebacker. He can hit and he can cover. So we got to watch out for him. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. 
There goes Blake Koch, our best player on the defensive line. He's dangerous off the edge. He's always getting clutch sacks. And then there goes another one on the season for him. So second and 15, they're in the wishbone formation and they're looking for Crum. William Dorsey took him down by the face mask. And now we got attack on 15. Well, take that back. That's just five. That's, in that's unintentional. So third and seven, they go back to Crum again. And he can't crumble up any yards. So now they have to punt the ball. We got it back. We're going back to the man all the way from VA. He takes that ball up the right side, but then he takes a foot out of bounds. We got first and 10, though. There goes Burnett once again looking for Kevin Scott. Oh, no. Take that bet. That was Marcus Williams who dropped that ball. So disappointing he's been this season. But we got Chambers to make up for that. First and 10 for the Hornets. You see the numbers on his career. What a stellar career for Justin Chambers. And then there goes Kevin Scott on the screen pass. Short of the first down marker, but it's manageable. So here we go on the play action pass. Look at Peter Burnett finding Kevin Scott and look at this. They can't stop him. Look at the power. Look at the drive. Touchdown, Alabama State. I need to write a letter to EA Sports and let them know that they fumbled the bat with this game with these HBCU teams because this is not a rival. So they didn't do nothing on their last position. So we got the ball back. We give the ball to Chambers. He's going up the left side. We got second and three. Back to Chambers we go. And then he runs into a wall of green and white. So we got third down. Back to the half at the red. There goes Chambers making a man miss. Going up the left side. Gets tackled near the 35. So towards the end of the second quarter. We look to take the three points. The kick is up. And it goes all the way to the right. Nevertheless. We're still up 28 to nothing. On Mississippi Valley State. We're looking to close it out. We're looking to get a shutout in this game. Second and nine. Mississippi Valley State has the ball. And then there goes Jamal Sykes. Second Kearney in the backfield. That is a six-yard loss. It's third and ten for the Delta Devils. They can't do nothing with us. Kearney looking back the pass. And he's popping it deep. And that pass is caught by Red. Unbelievable. First and ten at the 40. There goes Williams with the gut once again. And this time Kyle Gray has to chase him down again. Wow. So third and goal. They don't do nothing on first and second. And then there goes Crump. Punishing defenders and goes into the end zone for the first score of the day for Valley. But then we go back downfield to Kevin Scott and he makes the catch. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. Excellent pass by Peter Burnett. This is why we bench Bobby Newton. He needs some time to think about things. About his accuracy. About his pass, pass power everything because right now he's fumbling the bag but we go back to chambers on that play he gets to the one we're going back to him again and he cruises into the end zone for his second touchdown of the day we're beating up on valley right now as crumb is fighting for yardage he's still fighting third and two valley there goes kearney stepping back that pass is caught by crumb we thought we had an interception but thankfully jason moore brought him down Peter Burnett's not having a bad game right now. 211 yards passing, and there goes Crumb. This time, Cal Gray meets him again. He's tackled inside the red zone. They're cruising out. They done found something that works. Crumb up the gut. Near the near the uh, first down marker. Third and one. Back to Crumb. Fights for the first down. Did he get it? I believe he did. So now it's first and goal at the five. Crumb. Easy. That drive was all Crumb. Crazy. So they score again. We go back to Gene Speedy Singleton and look at that. Gene Speedy Singleton got blasted. Wow. Second and ten. We're changing something up. There goes Burnett. Stepping back the pass and he gets sacked. Bishop was not falling for that play action fake this time. So third and 17. Back to the half. Back to the red. The man all the way from VA. Look at that. <laughs> and then he fumbled the ball out of bounds. Thankfully, they didn't recover it. So we're going forward on fourth and four. Gene Speedy Singleton fumbles the ball, and they recover it. Man, they really want to get back in this game. Kearney, though. Crum is a halfback pass. It's complete to Kearney. And then Kevin, that looks like Justin Scott. Excuse me, he's not fooled. Second and five, there goes Crum once again. Crum is on fire right now. The third quarter comes to an end. It's 35 to 14, Alabama State. In the fourth quarter we go, we're looking to close it out. 
And there goes Kearney with other plans. That pass just dropped, though. That was actually a good play call. He just dropped the ball. So here we go again. Another play action, and Jamal Sykes has had enough. Starting to look like the Celebrations Bowl a little bit, huh? Shadur Sanders just couldn't get anything going. But it was already bad that Jackson State couldn't run the ball all season. So when uh, South Carolina State continued to pressure Shadur Sanders, he had no chance against that defense, man. But yeah, but big up to South Carolina State, though, because a lot of people had them losing his, losing that game. And then there, look at that. Look at the man all the way from VA. Get in tackle that midfield. First and ten for the Hornets. There goes Peter Burnett once again. And then this time that pass is bad. But what people don't remember about South Carolina State is, is that they produced some great defensive players. They had they had cats like Deacon Jones. You got a cat right now with the NFL with the Indianapolis coach, Darius Leonard, just killing things, man. The man has led the league in tackles a few for a few years. Been named defensive player of the year. Now he's on his way to having another stellar season. Oh, that pass was dropped by Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams has been such a disappointment in this series so far, man. After that first great game he had. But look at that! Look at that! Off of deflection, touchdown, Alabama State. And that was Marcus Williams' first touchdown catch of the season. And then look at Crum going up the right side. Unbelievable. He's having an amazing game. Tackled at the five-yard line, bro. Man. And then on fourth and goal, we stop him. We stop him on fourth and goal, though. Ha, ha, ha. And then we're going back to Justin Chambers inside our own two-yard line. He didn't get no one on that play. So now we're going back to Gene Speedy Singleton. He takes it out right side the left. He breaks out of a tackle. He cruises down the left sideline. Look at Gene Speedy Singleton turning on the speed. That son at the Hedgehog speed. Touchdown, Alabama State. A 99-yard run. What a run by Gene Speedy Singleton. What a game for Gene Speedy Singleton as well, man. As well as Justin Chambers. What a game for this offense. The team as a whole. But this Mississippi Valley State offense continues to cruise. On third and 11, though. There goes some more. They took Kearney out the game. He completes that pass to Williams. Look at all them broken tackles. Look at all them broken tackles, man. Just crazy. Look at Lee going up the left side with the counter trap. Just cruising into the end zone. The Delta Devil score once again. And then here we go back on offense with Peter Burnett. And we're looking deep for Tim Brown. And he makes the catch. An unbelievable catch there by Tim Brown. We're not talking about the cat that played for the Raiders or went to Notre Dame. You know the Heisman Trophy winner. But then we do have Justin Chambers, and look at that. He continues to set milestones on top of milestones. He is now the record holder for most touchdowns in a career in NCAA football history. Justin Chambers will go down as the greatest running back ever in the history of college football. As we end the game on a 55-21 victory. This fake robbery game is over. For the next two years after this, we will have Alabama AM back on the schedule. The real robbery. We move to 5 and 1. The boys from EW to Mississippi go back in disappointment. Now let's look at the stats. Peter Burnett had a pretty good game. Three touchdown passes, no interceptions. Only completed 52% of his passes, though. We got to get that up. Chambers had 182. Gene Singleton had over 20 yards of carry on just seven carries. Seven for 141. Now, the receivers were not bad today. The only issue is we're continuing to drop passes. Between Chambers, Brown, and Marcus Williams, we had a total of four drop passes. That's, that's a potential of 17 completions today for Peter Burnett. But unfortunately... He only had 13. The defense was stupendous today. Mississippi Valley State did get something going. We had three sacks on the game. We had an interception. We had a pass deflection. Uh, I'm looking to get more turnovers, though, as we continue to go on in this series. But, yeah, man, join us next time for the sting. We'll see what's going on with the rest of the HBCU world. Thank you for watching. Peace.